everyone, it's me, Miss Gabby, and welcome to Kept at Home Chill with Art. Another episode, you're hanging out with me this afternoon, Miss Gabby, and today I'm really excited. Um, you know, my love for watercolors, and I'm really excited because we're going to create a sweet mosaic just out of watercolor paper and some glue, and it's going to be awesome. So let's hop right in, and I'm going to show you what you need today to make this cool project. So let's first off show you. So I'm really excited because this is super easy. It's, uh, you know, something that you can really kind of... Um, take your time with and really enjoy the process with, which is, you know, something I always am, um, you know, kind of hoping for and always kind of talking about, especially in our Cab at Home projects. But, you know, big shout out to General Motors for being our like major sponsor. You know, without them, like we would not be able to really do any of this. And um, let me fix this a little bit here. Um, you know, just because, um, you know, we get to be able to come and give you all these free art tutorials, you know, um, and, you know, we collect the archive and add to it all the time. So that's what's really exciting. Perfect. I think I got it here. Perfect. So all you really need is like you can use two sheets of watercolor paper. Um, we'll need some scissors today, a glue stick, some watercolor paints, um, and a cup with water and a brush. Um, and just some time. So, um, so you can see here, I didn't make it a full sheet of paper. Um, I used half of like one, so that's what I'm gonna do. And let's, so let me just jump right in and show you. So you can kind of think about maybe what, um, you know, mosaic, you know, a mosaic would look like if you want to make it a specific, you know, design or just like more abstract with color. Like I, um, kind of I've been really liking the warm tones of colors uh, you know just because it's summer um, I think it just really um, plays well in a lot of my mood uh, you know so if you want to make something like that or if you're thinking maybe a card or a gift um, so you know we can jump right in and I'm just gonna coat the whole piece of paper um, with a lot of other watercolor projects that I uh, do I always like to use a whole sheet so um, maybe we'll just go more a little um, like cooler toned this time. So let me just go ahead and I'm going to paint my whole sheet here. So I'm just uh, kind of going what to dry. Um, so I'm really just saturating the color first and then going in with the water. Kind of adding a little bit more water but getting it more saturated. Um, and what's awesome about like watercolors, I mean, it's a, it's a little bit of a process, but you know, you can take your time, let it dry and keep going. So I'll even show you how we're, we can do that. Cause you saw in my example, um, I had, um, a few different colors, which, you know, was, the base was yellow and little flecks of, uh, red detail. So, uh, that's what I can show you how to do. Cause I have loads of example pieces of paper because I love watercolors. Um, so I really like how this brush is giving this nice texture uh, into my uh, paper. Um, and I really like how it's different saturations of colors, like the hues kind of are spreading. Not even spreading, they're kind of just staying. But I really like how this looks. So I like how it's darker in some areas and lighter in some. So um, I'm going to take this and put it off to the side to dry. So I'll show you maybe um, a different one. So this one I used a different um, a different uh, blue. So I used kind of like a more like royalish blue. The other one was probably more turquoise. But so um, I love watercolors that you know you can kind of layer on. Uh, um, so I'm gonna just really rinse my brush here. Um, and I think I want to, you know, continue with the, the cool color. So maybe I will just create some fun, like green dots. And what's awesome, since it's dry, it's not going to bleed together, which I really like. Um, so I'm just going to create some like little dots of my whole brush and then maybe some swipes. So I'm not covering the entire page. I'm just going ahead and creating some fun little patterns. Um, around here. I'm going to just make them a little different just because my end goal is to cut up the piece of paper. So that's what I'm going to do. 
So this is fun. I like it. Um, you know, I think I might, I think, just add a little touches of black. So if you want to switch to a different paintbrush, you can do that too um, to give you different effects. But I'm just going to use the tip of this one um, to make these fun circles. Just give it a little extra contrast on my page. So I'm not trying not to hit the, any of the wet pieces because I don't want them to bleed together. I just want them to kind of um, sit out. But yeah, so I'm gonna leave that, put it off to the side, perfect. So, great, now that we have that, I can show you. So this is the, this one is a lot more simple. Um, it's a lot more faded, a little more pastel-like, but a lot of blended together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just go ahead and start to show you. So um, I'm gonna just kind of, all this and put it off to the side because we're not we don't need it anymore and this is the paper I'm going to use so this one is much smaller you can use a full sheet of paper brushes for the sake of time I'm going to use that one um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these into strips so you don't have to necessarily use triangles for your mosaic um, but I'm just going to cut off um, some of this extra excess white um, you can use a lot of organic shapes, but I'm just going to stick with my triangles um, just because that's what I was doing in the, um, the first one. So I'm just going to trim all this down because I don't want all that extra white. So I'm just going to go ahead and start creating different sized triangle pieces. So, um, you know, I don't want them all to be very similar because I want to kind of have a nice variety of them in my mosaic. So what I like about this project a lot is that, um, you know, I'm gonna have different shape or sizes. Um, so there'll be different effects in each uh, triangle, you know, so nothing is going to be the same and it's really gonna be my, my own really, um, which I really, really like. So I know they're kind of all flipped over, but so you see, I even have some like flux of white um, in my in my piece here, so maybe I'm gonna cut a little bigger strip. But you can go ahead and trim all of this down, and so you can see that I'm just kind of creating these like effects with my watercolors, these little pastel like effects. But what's cool about it is you can really do um, anything and everything that you like. So I'm gonna trim this. So these ones I'm gonna make a little bigger. So here, maybe kind of keep it that way. More abstract triangle here, maybe smaller, even smaller. So I'm trying to use the entire um, sheet, you know, the entire thing. So I may have quite a bit already so okay well we can just go ahead and start so what I did with my um, example piece here is you know before I glued everything I kind of laid it all down first you know just because I wanted it to line up um, not all the way to the edge but very very close to to give that nice like pretty white border um, around everything and what's nice too is if you ended up end up needing um, some extra some extra triangles you can cut them to the shape that you actually need so um, that's what's really great about that so it's kind of like a nice little puzzle it gives you you know something to think about um, and really determine you know what um, what your mosaic is gonna look like so it's kind of like a nice little like a brain exercise as well as you know an art project so you see, I'm starting to kind of just build it up a little bit here and you can see, you know, how in diff these different shapes and sometimes I won't have all these like pointy um, things and they, not everything has to line up perfectly. That's like what's really cool about this um, is you can definitely, um, you know, see how it's all kind of coming together um, and you get to decide where and what things will be. So, so this one would be a nice little oblong shape too, eventually. But I love how this is actually kind of looking 
um, looking like. It kind of reminds me a little bit of winter, I think maybe probably just because of the specks of white, almost snowflake like. Um, yeah, so maybe we can decide here. You know, you can trim it um, to how you want it, which is cool. See, I can do that. Maybe give it some extra room here. Yeah, like I kind of like how that looks. It gives it a nice little break. Maybe we can trim this one down a little. Just a little bit. So, um, but yeah, so we can start laying it down like that. Maybe put those to the side. Um, so just, you know, I want to kind of um, make them a little more solidified now. So I'm gonna just take um, one of my pieces. I wanna remember exactly maybe where it went and I'm just gonna glue the back. So just take my time and start gluing each piece down. So I wanna make sure that it's gonna stay. Make sure that you're getting the entire corner, corner to corner, just so then it's gonna stay down. Like that. There we go. So you can see, maybe try not to get glue all over because you're still touching your project so you don't want to get it all gluey. So like I have some on my finger, like I can take it and use it maybe on an extra piece here or something. But I try, I'm try. i trying not to necessarily get glue all over the place. So I'm gonna, and sometimes it may like kind of slip or you know, something might change while you're gluing and that's okay. You know, you can reassess and if you're you know, creating a lot of pieces to make your mosaic, um, you can seriously kind of, uh, you know, readjust and, um, you know, think about what it is that you're doing, you know? So like that one can go here, like we did. Up here, perfect. So I'm trying not to, if you don't, you start to get glue all over your hands, like I am, you can go ahead and take a break wash them um, just so you're not going to get paint or more glue all over your project. So I'm just kind of going and reinforcing um, each piece with my finger, um, making sure that it's staying down. There we go. Voila. So yeah, so you can go ahead and keep going. You know, if maybe some pieces don't want to stay down all the way, you can just kind of add some glue. Um, but, you know, you can go ahead, because this is going to take some time, but you can see, like, in my final piece here, how I did that and how awesome and pretty it looks. I could even just, you know, go ahead and finish it all the way from just maybe to here and cut it. It doesn't have to be the full page, especially um, if maybe you're creating, like, a fun design or something. Um, you know, you can definitely switch it up and change it up. It's, you know, your project. You can really, like, you can see how many different shapes and sizes I used here. Um, you know, which is so much fun. And you can seriously even, I can, like, mix up the, the yellow with the blue, too, if I want to. Um, but, yeah, thanks for hanging out with me. You know, I know this would take some time, but, um, you know, that's, like, what this project is about. It's just, like, the process and, you know, waiting and really kind of designing something that's super unique in yours, you know, so... Um, but yeah, thanks for hanging out with me today. You know, if you followed along with any of our tutorials, definitely send them our way. We love to see them. Um, you know, we love to see your art projects. Maybe we can post them on our social media. Um, you know, we'd love to be able to share that with everybody in the world. Um, but yeah, stay tuned for the uh, rest of the week. And um, yeah, thanks again. Um, enjoy your day.